We've just arrived in San Antonio. This is my first trip here. I can't think of a better way to see your city than on the river, man. This is awesome. I get to meet people from around the world. They're all coming together here for a city park, but it's also, of course, welcome to visitors. All right, hello. Good afternoon and welcome to San Antonio, my hometown. We're gonna cruise through the most historic, the most exciting sections of the Riverwalk. I'll tell you a lot about this story. The history, the city and the Riverwalk have been growing up together for centuries now. And I'll tell you about the stories of the buildings that we see along the way too. Do you notice that an audience could sit there on the left side? Imagine 800 people like completely filling the hill. Or imagine a concert happening on the other side of the water because on my right, on the starboard side, there is a little clearing that's a stage. If you're curious about that, like how long has this all been here, it's actually quite a rich story. We started with a river. Yes, we're on a real river. We're on the San Antonio River's natural path. And then the river walk was a federal government project to have a park on a river. 1929. The Tower Life building was designed by architects Atlee Ayers and Robert Ayers. There are little details around the second floor like faces and monsters and flowers by the second floor windows. Superstition says having the ugly faces, the monsters and the gargoyles, the building is protected from bad luck and evil spirits. Okay, the next building on the right side, a brown brick building built in 1926, used to show black and white silent movies in it. On the left side, let's look at this t next building, a tall yellow building, and people say it looks like it's gonna fall down. Let's see if you agree, it looks like a freestanding wall. Well, don't worry about that, okay? It's not gonna fall down. There's a sharp angle on the corner of the whole building, like a triangle. And high into the right, an uh, observation tower is the tallest structure in San Antonio. We don't have 60-story buildings, but we have a tower that's the height of a 60-story building, so you can take a look around. This was the Hemisphere Expansion Project for our fair, which was called Hemisphere. On the left side of the boat, part of the convention center is decorated with an amazing tile mosaic. That's not a painting. There's no paint involved. The tile mosaic is made out of little stone pieces, mostly one inch wide, and it was assembled to show cultures coming together. I like what you said on the boat, that you've met people from all over the world, but at the end of the day, we're what? We're all in the same boat. <laughs> that was good, I like it. When you travel, what do you tell people about San Antonio? Why, why should people come to San Antonio? I like to say that it has a, a small town feel, right? We're not one of the biggest cities in terms of skyscrapers, but we still have a lot to offer. And with our growing tourism industry, with our, uh, our parks, you know, we have a number of theme parks and other attractions that are away from the Riverwalk. I think there's something unique that you're just not gonna find in another place. I would agree. Thanks for having us, man. Great meeting you. Good to meet you too.